The old Congress, under the Articles of Confederation, set the dates when the new government would begin. They chose New York City as the temporary capital. In February 1789, the first elections for the House and Senate were held. It was also at this time that electors cast their ballots for the nation's first president. By a unanimous vote, George Washington was elected the first president of the United States. John Adams was elected vice president. Washington was inaugurated on April 30th, 1789 in New York City by taking the following oath. I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States and will to the best of my ability preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Congress passed the Judicial Act of 1789 which created a three-level federal court system with 13 district courts at the bottom, three circuit courts, and the Supreme Court headed by John Jay at the top. In June of 1789, James Madison proposed a series of amendments to the House of Representatives to protect the civil rights and liberties of the American people. Twelve of these amendments were offered to the states. The states ratified ten of them by December of 1791. Together, they became known as the Bill of Rights, and today they represent the cornerstone of individual freedom in America. The Bill of Rights protected freedom of religion, of speech, and of the press, and the right to assemble, to petition the government, to bear arms, to be tried by jury, and to enjoy other procedural safeguards and civil rights. For all his efforts, James Madison would forever be known as the father of the Constitution. Vital to the new government was a sound financial structure. And in this task, Washington's brilliant Secretary of the Treasury, Alexander Hamilton, proved to be a financial wizard and one of the most able statesmen in American history. Hamilton proposed a Bank of the United States as the capstone of his financial system. The bank issue was hotly contested and brought the division of political reactions which would develop into the Federalist and Democratic Republican parties. The Federalists, headed by Hamilton and John Adams, favored a strong federal government and a national bank. The Democratic Republicans, headed by Thomas Jefferson, who was also Washington's Secretary of State, favored a limited federal government and opposed the idea of a national bank. Hamilton's views won out both with Congress and with the troubled President Washington, who reluctantly allowed for the establishment of the National Bank of the United States. Hamilton's policies divided the country. By the end of Washington's first term in office, the differences between Hamilton on one hand and Jefferson on the other hand was about as wide as government under the Constitution would permit. Washington, however, had stood above the conflict and both sides urged him to accept another term when elections were held in 1792. The split between the two factions was widened during Washington's second term because of an increasingly bitter debate over foreign policies. For the remainder of the decade, in fact up through the War of 1812, much of American foreign policy was based on the desire to maintain American rights while keeping out of European conflicts. This, they believed, was essential for the young Republic of America to survive. Refusing to seek a third term as president, George Washington retired from office in 1797. In his farewell address, he advised against party politics at home and against getting involved with international conflicts. After his death in 1799, he was praised in Congress as first in war, first in peace, and first in the hearts of his countrymen. John Adams was elected president in 1796. Adams and his Federalist administration continued to alienate the Democratic Republicans by their policies. Alexander Hamilton, however, was becoming disenfranchised with John Adams and his foreign policies, and this was to cause a split within the Federalist Party, which would eventually cause its demise.